Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite vegetarian, vegan substitute, meal substitutes. Um, on Instagram, I like posted a picture of my breakfast and uh, a couple of DMs came in like, you should do your faves, you should recommend your faves. So I am getting that to you. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because we have a lot of fun there. And also you can recommend video ideas to me and and I will try my hardest to work my noggin and get that done for you. So without further ado, let's get into this. So first things first, I do not have all of these items in front of me right now. To be fair, I actually have to go grocery shopping. So this is like a nice little handy list for me too. Um, but I'm going to just like pop pictures up and leave links down below so then you can check out everything yourself. So whenever I think about uh, vegetarian or vegan food, I think about Beyond Meat as like the brand. Those burgers came out, people were super excited. They were like booming with excitement. And I will tell you, it's worth the hype, okay? The Beyond Meat burgers are super thick. They're super juicy. I like to add um, sometimes like a Worsh, 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 Worsh's, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know what I'm trying to say there. I like to add a little bit of that to it and it kind of gives it a little bit more of that meaty taste. I absolutely love the Beyond Meat veggie burger, the super thick patties. It's so freaking good. I guess we'll just stick with the brands and just kind of go in line with that. So the other Beyond Meat product that I really love is the Feisty Crumbles. That's like their ground beef basically. Um, but I like the feisty one because it has that spice. I put that in tacos or on nachos. It is so freaking good. Um, you don't have to season it, but I like to add a little bit more season. Okay. I like to add seasoning to everything. I think just about everything could use a little bit of ground red pepper. So it is super duper delicious. That as well as the Beyond Meat sausage patties. I've been eating that in the morning for breakfast with some eggs and it is so delicious. I get the spicy one because once again, I like spicy. I'm a spicy girl. So yeah, I believe this brand is pronounced corn. I really enjoy the corn cutlets. Um, I've had both the, just the regular sharp cheddar and then the pesto and mozzarella. There's something just really, really good. That with like a vegetable on the side, it feels like a complete dinner. Like it feels like the kind of dinner my mom used to make when we were kids and she felt like being a little bit fancy, but also she realized she had four kids. So she wasn't really trying to take all that time <laughs> to be fancy. It's just simple, easy, and just, it tastes good. I really like the taste and I really like the texture of it as well. So Amy's. Amy's, like as a brand, I kind of have an opinion about because I mentioned before I like to add seasoning to stuff, but to be honest, Amy's, I feel like you need to add seasoning to everything. I've had their soup, like their canned soups before, seasoning, you have to add seasoning. Like Amy's is a good base, but it's not really great to just eat straight up at least in my opinion. So I had the Amy's um, Supreme Pizza. It is. It was really, really good. I, do, I don't even really enjoy the taste of like pepperoni or beef. It's not really my favorite like meat. Like even when I was eating meat, it just wasn't something I gravitated towards typically. But this pizza was so freaking good. And then the cheese on it is actually uh, vegan as well. So, or dairy free. So like, it's, it, it's a completely uh, vegan experience. And it was, it was just really delicious. It crisped up really, really quickly though. So be careful when you're cooking those pizzas, not to burn it, but I would recommend that pizza. As for anything else in the Amy's line, just like, it's like basic. It's, it's, what, it's vegan food for kids. Like, you know how kids can't have like a lot of seasoning and stuff cause they think it's too spicy or they don't really like it. Amy's is vegan for kids. That's how I feel. And then the last brand or the last few items I want to talk about is Guardian. I believe, I believe it's pronounced. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know, you know that I have been obsessed with the Guardian Ultimate Chicken Nuggets. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking good. Well, okay, it actually started with the filet, the chicken filet, and I put that in my deep fryer. <laughs> I could have married it. 
I honestly could have, let me have a sip here because <laughs> I honestly could have married that filet. It was so freaking good. The texture of it was amazing. I had it in like a sandwich with some pepper jack cheese on it. It was so freaking good and delicious. I was like, this is it. Like this is, this is on par with Beyond Meat. That's how I feel. I feel like typically with Guardian, um, you're like, you're getting that meat substitute and it is good, but you know, it's not, it's not a meat substitute. Like your friends that eat meat are going to look at that and go, that is not right. <laughs> like there's something about that that ain't right. Um, but, but this, the ultimate line in Guardian is just so comparable to the Beyond Meat, uh, level of meat imitation. It is it's divine. So now that I've raved about that for a good five minutes, um, yes, I really loved the filet and I really loved the nuggets. You don't even have to do them in the fryer. I realized since I was eating it just about every single day, maybe I shouldn't deep fry my foods every day. So I started sticking it in the oven and it's just as good. I just, what I do is I, um, when I'm, when it's done cooking, I just like hit that little broil button and let it crisp up a little bit, you know, just for a couple of minutes and then I eat it and it's, it's just as good. And that's probably the great part about it. You don't have to like deep fry it like a maniac. And then from the guardian line, I also really, really love their fish products. I really love their crab cakes. I used to, cause I haven't had it in a while, but I used to take the crab cakes and like have it in a salad. I would cook up the crab cakes and then eat them in a salad. And it was really, really delicious. And then the fishless fillets were delicious as well. And you could have those in a sandwich cause they're, they're kind of big. That's, that's the other thing. I feel like Guardian is also pretty inexpensive compared to a lot of, especially like Amy's brand and stuff. Um, it's a little bit cheaper. And, and so you're able to get like more bang for your buck basically. And it's not, it's not bad. You know, you just have to know what you're getting into. Know that you're not getting uh, flaky pull apart chicken uh, in just the guardian range, but the guardian ultimate. So those are basically my favorites for right now. I actually just pulled them from my grocery list and then recollected like, do, did I enjoy this or not? There are a couple items that I did try that I didn't really love. And I could do a video on that too, on like vegetarian substitutes I do not like. So just let me know down below how you feel about that. Um, am I a vegetarian? I am a pescatarian, I will say that. So I still do, cause I love sushi. I really love sushi and I could not ever give up my fish sushi, but for the most part, I choose not to eat meat because it just doesn't make me feel as good as eating meat does. You know, it's whatever your reasoning for choosing not to eat meat or choosing to eat meat less, I think is a perfectly valid reason. And everybody's body requires different uh, nutrients, so different amounts of nutrients and the different ways that uh, you take them in. I don't really feel like diet is something to judge people about or for. And so that is pretty much the extent of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you are having a great rest of your week, a great weekend that is coming up. Please try to stay healthy out there, you know, mask up and do what you need to do to take care of yourself and your fellow earthlings. And um, until next time, I absolutely love and adore you, my friend. And bye.